Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Wen. Here is the question. If A does not equal to B, B does not equal to zero. A and B are two real roots of X squared plus A X plus B equals zero. What is the value of A and B? We introduce two methods to solve this question. The first method Let's look at the given question. This is a special question. The two roots, A and B, are the same as two coefficients of this quadratic equation. Because A and B are two roots of this quadratic equation, then we have x minus a times x minus b equals zero. Expand the left-hand side. Then we have x squared minus a plus bx plus ab equals zero. This is the given equation. The two equations are the same. Then we can compare coefficients. Therefore, we have a equals negative a plus b, b equals ab. From the second equation, we have a b minus b equals zero. We can fact b out from the left hand side. b times a minus one equals zero. Given b is not zero, then we have a equals one. From the first result, a equals negative a plus b. Then we have two a equals negative b. Replacing A by 1 in the right, left hand side of this equation. Then we have 2 equals negative B. Therefore, B equals negative 2. We find the answer A, B equals 1, negative 2. Second method. A, B are two roots of x squared plus ax plus b equals zero. We replace x by a and b in this given equation. Then we have the following two results. We simplify the two results. Then we have 2a squared plus b equals 0. b squared plus ab plus b equals 0. From the first result, we have b equals negative 2a squared. 
from the second result, we have b times b plus a plus 1 equals 0. Here, we just back the b out from the left-hand side of the second result. Given b is not zero, from this equation, then we have b plus a plus one equals zero. Why? We divide b on the both sides of this given equation. Replace b by negative 2a p square. Then we have negative 2a square plus a plus 1 equals 0. This implies 2a square minus a minus 1 equals 0. Factoring the left hand side, then we have 2a plus 1 times a minus 1 equals 0. This implies a equals negative 1 half or 1. If a equals negative 1 half, b equals negative a squared. Replace a by negative one half. Then we have b equals negative one half. Given a does not equal to b, then we have a does not equal to one half. Negative one half. Let's check a equals one. If a equals 1, b equals negative 2a squared, replacing a by 1, then we have b equals negative 2. b does not equal to a. Therefore, a, b equals 1, negative 2. That's all. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.